In right-to-left shunts, deoxygenated blood from the right heart is sent to the left heart and out to the circulation. This leads to a dusky blueness of the skin. Clinical consequences can be severe, and prompt surgical intervention is usually required. Maw, cheer up there, do baby. It'll be okay. Let's start with the first terrible T, truncus arteriosus. Instead of an aorta and pulmonary trunk, you're left with a single outflow tract for everything. That means oxygenated blood from the left ventricle and deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle mixed together, sending poorly oxygenated blood to both the pulmonary and systemic circuits. It's one single trunk, embodied here by the great big tree truncus. See how the red oxygenated roots combine with the blue deoxygenated roots, leading to a single outflow tract? Not good. Since both ventricles are dumping into one trunk, a VSD usually connects the two chambers, hence the V-shape on his chest, torn open. To spot a truncus arteriosus, get a cardiac echo. You should see a common trunk overlying a VSD. Embryologically, what's happening here is a failure of septation. In other words, a septum usually forms to divide the truncus arteriosus into a right pulmonary tract and left aortic tract. It's the sequel we've all been waiting for. This requires proper neural crest cell migration, however. Let me show you what I mean. See that shield, or crest, if you will, held by that creepy goblin dude? The design depicts a cross-section of the developing embryo, and the neural crest cells which develop from the embryonic ectoderm, are highlighted in red. Do you see it? The epidermis layer is at the very top of the shield, and the neural tube is that ominous eye shape. The neural crest cells sit right in between. The red arrows down each side of the crest indicate the migration of neural crest cells as they go on to form various cell types. This includes the cells responsible for proper septation of the truncus arteriosus. Failure of neural crest cell migration is associated specifically with 22 Q11 deletions. That means the Q11 region located on chromosome 22. See the numbers 22 and 11 incorporated into his helmet? 22 Q11 deletions will pop up whenever we discuss cardiac malformations that lead to conotruncal abnormalities. In other words, congenital syndromes that involve malformation of the aortic outflow tract. 22 Q11 deletions also lead to improper development of the third and fourth branchial arches, leading to all kinds of weird immune system stuff.